Hello, I'm Andy Harrington from Portage Bay Solutions, and I want to spend some time showing you the map widget from Portage Bay. The map widget is a Google Maps implementation via a FileMaker card window. With a simple call to the map widget script from your FileMaker solution, you can have your location data display on a Google Map, complete with callbacks to FileMaker and uh, using the market clustering function from Google. So you can see right here, we have a cluster um, of the contacts. And if we click on that, it'll zoom in. And we can see we have two pins here. Those are two of our contacts. So you can see this contact with the contact information. And then we can make a call back here, click on more info, and it'll take us back to the contact de detail layout. The implementation of the map widget is very simple. And we start here with these two scripts, the map widget scripts, map widget and map widget go to record. Now, once we copy these into your current solution, there's uh, a few places that need to be changed to customize it for your data. Starting with rows 22, 23, and 24, the registration name, registration key, and the Google API key, which you'll need to receive directly from Google. And we have instructions on how to do that specifically on the Portage Bay website. Um, and if we scroll down here, we also need to customize um, we need to set the latitude and longitude um, right here. So we need to change this table occurrence right here, customer's latitude and customer's longitude to your customer or whatever data set it is, latitude and longitude. And down here as well, these variables down here, 72 to 79, each one of these table occurrences need to mo be modified as well. Customer company, first, address one, address two, city, state, postal code, and email, will all need to be changed to your uh, your data set, your, your table occurrence uh, in your own solution. As for the map widget go to record script, um, this is the callback script and you need to set this layout right here. Um, and this is the layout that you want the, the user to end up on after they click a pin in the map. And then you also need to set um, that specific ID for that table occurrence. One other change that needs to be made is that the allow URLs to perform FileMaker scripts is enabled in your privilege set. If you want more detailed instructions on how to implement the map widget from Portage Bay Solutions, you can go visit our website, portagebay.com, and there there is an overview of the entire documentation and how to implement it yourself. But if you'd prefer, we offer installation of the widget as well. So thank you for watching and please contact us if you have any questions or concerns regarding the map widget.